Tonight, just shocking new details following a local 10 news investigation about a Broward Sheriff deputy accused of using a taxpayer bought BSO boat for personal use. Local 10 investigator Jeff Wines here first broke this story back in May. He has new pictures that show a current BSO captain appears to have allowed it to happen, plus allegations of alcohol on board. This 23 foot intrepid supposed to be used for undercover operations and training, but inside BSO's Marine unit, it was dubbed as the morale boat, using it a privilege for working in that unit like a take home vehicle. The problem high ranking supervisors outside the unit had no idea a deputy was using it off duty for pleasure at taxpayers expense. New pictures show and local 10 news has confirmed alcohol on board in the hands of non BSO employees. In this picture, there's a civilian at the helm. These are pictures internal affairs did not have in late 2021 when they first investigated allegations. Deputy Jay Dunning, a 31 year veteran, a 20 year member of the Marine unit was using the boat off duty. In this picture taken back in 2019, Dunning had the boat tied to another in Boca Lake outside of Broward County. Turns out that other boat belonged to his then supervisor on the Marine unit, Efren Torres who is now a BSO captain. The original investigation, remember, was initiated by a parent who notified us and BSO. We always assumed it was a family boat. As a taxpayer, it's not okay. Who is footing the bill for this? As part of the first investigation, Deputy Dunning was never questioned, was allowed to admit it and move on, received a written reprimand, and remained on the Marine unit. After our story in May, we were led to those new pictures on social media. A new investigation was launched. More sworn statements were taken. A major who previously supervised the unit said, quote, there was no reason, no excuse exceptions why a deputy would have the use of a marine unit boat for personal or recreational use off duty. This time Dunning was questioned, claimed the practice began 12 years ago under a now retired sergeant, said he had authorization from sergeants every time he used the boat off duty. Dunning admitted gas was purchased with a fuel card assigned to the boat, meaning it was bought with taxpayers money. And when showed a picture of alcohol on board, Dunning called it quote surprising and upsetting to see. As for Efren Torres, who is now a BSO captain and whose personal boat was tied to that BSO boat outside the county with Dunning. Can I talk to you about some pictures that have surfaced about your personal boat being tied up? No, sir, I have no comment. You were the supervisor at the time. Have a great day, sir. In a sworn statement, Captain Torres admitted giving Dunning permission, called it a lapse in judgment, and said considering how the incident is now reflected on BSO, he would have put an end to the practice during his time on the Marine unit. A, a morale boat, I, I, it's, it's laughable. Oh, it's totally embarrassing. Robert Drago is a retired BSO lieutenant colonel who spent 38 years in law enforcement and was actually part of the Marine unit in the 80s. Dr. Andrew Scott has been in law enforcement for 44 years and is the former Boca Raton police chief. The failure was on the supervisory level. As each sergeant came in, it didn't stop this inappropriate behavior from the prior sergeant. And if there was a staff inspection that was adequately done for this particular unit, this may have come out long before it came to your attention. Both are concerned taxpayers foot the bill for Dunning's personal outings. I would see that the county got reimbursed. That's tantamount to potential theft or misuse or misallocation of funds of the county. Despite the new pictures and the new interviews, the new report says, quote, no new significant information was found. As far as the sheriff's office is concerned, it's case closed. No new disciplinary action for Dunning or the others involved. I believe that more significant information was found that wasn't in the initial investigation. And that again, it's up to the command staff to look at that and say, Okay, what else did we find in here? And you know, how do we want to address that? In this case, the leadership failed. There are new procedures in place. Boats now must be checked out by deputy name, engine hours used, and purpose. Jay Dunning remains on the Marine unit. He will not have to reimburse Broward taxpayers for gas used on his personal outings. And there is no official statement from Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony.
Jeff Weins here, Local 10 News.